morning everybody from Central Texas. So I wanted to do a quick video today. Um, I don't I try and review products, but uh, this is one that I went and picked up the other day. Um, bought a new trailer and the first thing I did, the first accessory to the goofy dog, first accessory that I went and bought for that trailer is this guy here. Um, for those of you guys who haven't heard about this, this thing is called the Ultimate Jack. And um, I wanna say, it's just under seventy dollars. Um, I picked this up from Tractor Supply. I'll put a uh, an image of that up on the screen here. Um, but this guy is amazing. For those of you guys who uh, are used to the traditional tongue jack on a trailer that you've got to sit there and crank and crank and crank and crank, the Ultimate Jack eliminates that process by having this quick release that basically slides the jack down. Probably, I would say a foot and a half, if not two feet, in either direction, so that you can deploy the jack down a couple inches instead of a couple feet. And then when you're ready to go, you just pull this locking pin out and move the jack up. So let's install this thing and show you guys why I think this is well worth the money. And hopefully, you guys find uh, this useful and maybe it's available in your local area. All right, so this is a carry on brand trailer um, sold by Tractor Supply as well. And hopefully you guys get lucky on my tongue. Um, they just bolted the jack in. On a lot of trailers I know they'll take a bead weld and run a bead weld around there. So you may have to use an angle grinder with a cutter wheel to cut that weld. I've had to do that on previous trailers. But uh, nice and easy install otherwise. Like they're getting to work a little bit earlier than I am today. Actually waiting, I'll be doing another video on it here very shortly, but uh, I went by the dealership this morning and I've got a brand new Skag 36 inch SWZT that just came in with my name on it, but it's still in the crate. I'm excited though. Um, we were running the standards, love the standards. Uh, they were great mowers. Then I downsized. One of the things that I was noticing with the smaller 36 inch standard is they're just too heavy. The 36s, I have to eat some of my words on those. Um, I think some of the older V-Rides were actually better. The newer ones, they really look good, but their tires are just too darn small. And they, um, they, uh, they compact the soil. around one way or another um, it can be a real pain Right here, this the secondary ring where it's reinforced, where the main jack slides through is very thick. So the, they installed um, these channels here, so it's really flexible. No matter what size trailer tongue, if, if your manufacturer kind of has the bolts a little bit further out or something like that, they they're really smart about channeling these uh, these holes where the bolts go through. But on mine. It's tight fit. Over here, where you can see the operation of this and see what what this is all about. So, what I'm talking about is look at this. Uh, Foot. 
fact that it comes with a foot. Like, I just, I like that, you know. Hell, I wish they had an option that came with a wheel, too, but, I mean, I'll take. Take what I can get. And that's just good value. I think that's a great jack for the price. I think regular jacks are roughly around, uh, I want to say you get a regular pair of jack around like 45 Okay, so as much as I don't like recording voiceovers, I had to here, and I apologize in the video, that wind was really annoying. It was annoying me when I was watching the video and editing it. So basically here I'm talking about the value of this jack, you know, regular jacks running that $45 range-ish. This one for about 60 more, you get a jack to perform so much better than your regular jacks with the slide down feature, and it comes with a foot. I'd love it if it came with a wheel, but you know, I'll take what we can get here. Um, So we'll go ahead and demonstrate now. This is what I love about this jack here. Um, I've got to adjust. There's that little uh, black piece of plastic on the front, and it basically fits into a hole in the side of that uh, tubular brace and creates friction against the main shaft of the jack. And that basically you can adjust that as to how easy the jack is to retract and lower. And so I was just getting that set up there getting the little lock pin out of the way here. That little stem that you see coming out of the side of the jack facing the rear of the trailer has a little bevel on it. So as you turn that handle, it uh, slides that locking shaft in and out from little notches on there. And so here you see the classic. What most people have to do with their jacks that are fixed is move them tons and tons of rotation on that. Whereas here, get it set right about where you need it. That jack is all the way in the lowered position. Rotate the handle up, as you see here. And now I'm showing you that bevel there, which that pulls, that, that's a spring-loaded shaft there, so it pulls that out of the locking pin. Now you can slide it up, and you've got several different positions throughout the jack, about every three or four inches that you can lock it back into. Lock the jack back in there, and now you're ready to go. Uh, off the ground in seconds. So it's literally only a couple turns to get that thing from full deployment to full retraction. And you can make adjustments however you needed to to keep it from hitting your tailgate if you needed to lower the, the main part of the jack a little bit and you, you wanted to sacrifice some of the spin. So hope you guys found that useful. I, I'm a huge believer in this product. Uh, I, I would have to look up the specs on how much weight it can take but i know i never had any problems with my tandem axle trailer that had two heavy standers on it and this thing has just been a, a real time saver real convenience and i really enjoy it so hope you guys found the video useful we'll see you guys around soon